Hey, I'm the Catholic Gamer, and welcome to Recipe for Disaster. Brand new release just into early access today. This is from Dapper Penguin Studios. This is uh, their latest release following Rise of Industry, their last one. This is a fun little uh, cooking management or restaurant management title on this one. This is my avatar and or primary character uh, that we'll be bringing into the game. I have level two in grill, level two in countertop, and a level three for stove. That's also the category that we really love, so that can push up to category uh, or up to a skill level of five. The one that we hate is serving also at level one for that. So uh, we're gonna try to avoid the serving, cleaning, charismatic side. We're gonna be in the kitchen. As for our traits, you get two to start out with. You only get to gain one point, so you have to give and take if you want something good. We got something good, which is genius plus two, 25% bonus to experience gained. But to get there, we had to give up a point, And so we took Gothic, which is rain makes you happy and serving may depress you. Again, avoiding serving. We're gonna be specialized. We're gonna be in the kitchen. We'll hire others to work out front. Right now, just released into early access, there is three game modes, tutorial, campaign, or multiplayer, which is coming soon. So in the campaign, Currently, there are five. There are going to be more scenarios coming, but right now we have just five on release day. We begin with Sloppy Joe's. Sloppy Joe's, the prologue. An unexpected guest. A few months ago, you landed your very first part-time job flipping burgers at Sloppy Joe's in the center of town. Keen to impress, you've secretly been staying behind after hours to work on a new special sauce recipe for the restaurant's famous volcano burger. Yesterday, you decided to slip some of your experimental sauce into a customer's order. And guess what? They loved it. Great, right? Well, it turns out this particular customer is a famous content creator, and their horde of followers are now flocking to the restaurant to get a piece of the action. Manager hasn't shown up to work today and is clearly panicking. So now it's up to you to get the rest of the team organized and deal with this sudden influx of hungry customers. Around day one, unknown. Real cooking is more about following your heart than following recipes. Okay, so we have quotes over there mentioning what day it is. And our current situation, starting money is $5,500. Starting popularity, 55%. The objectives, okay, win conditions. Have five seated tables at the same time. Make $150 worth of income from food in a single day. Serve eight tables. Bonus, sell five dishes at $70 or more. Lose conditions, drop to 30% or 30 popularity. That would be 30%, we're at 55. Now I wouldn't recommend bypassing the tutorial, but that happens sometimes, especially when you wanna to try to get content out just after the early access goes live. Okay, a few things. Here's our speed. So you have three varying speeds in this game. Uh, you have edge scrolling, which is something that can be turned on and off. I like that we have our objectives right here, very visible. Primary objectives, bonus objectives, failure conditions. Okay, it looks like we have a build mode and I'm guessing the open is to open the build mode. Here is our kitchen. There is our restaurant. Uh, we only have three tables up and running. We have one table covered in trash. We're gonna have to clean that up. So we need to get up to five tables at some point because we need to seat five at the same time. We wanna make sure we're making enough money. What's going on with the other situations? We have our staff, we have a menu, recipes, food storage. There's the build mode, clean areas. At the moment, we can't seem to get into the build mode. That could be a problem. We do have money to spend and it doesn't matter that we spend money, right? It's about the money we bring in. So we could actually spend quite a bit of money before we get into our day. Speaking of, oh, we are in the build mode now. That's why it's open. That's why it's enlarged right there. Okay, so we have walls. Walls are good, uh, but we already have some walls. I'm assuming that's doors, windows, okay. Appliances, fire extinguisher might be a good thing. We do not seem to have one present. And this game is recipe for disaster. Fires will be part of it. Uh, let's not get ourselves caught out very early on in that one. Let's put a fire extinguisher in the kitchen. 
Okay, let's get another storage shelf. Okay, it looks like we have multiple fridges, so we're good there. Uh, we have one grill, we have one deep fryer, that might be enough. Maybe, we can add real quick if we need. Okay, what do we do with this trash? What can we do? Is there a paint wall, paint floor, demolish? Okay, took care of that. Now let's get back into purchases. Do we want to match the tables we have? Uh, we have four chairs, we have two chairs, we have one chair. We could use more chairs. Common chair. Okay, it's a different color. That's okay. That is okay. I believe this is what we have. All right, that gives us five serviceable tables. I think that's going to help us uh, meet our needs for the day. And that really didn't cost us that much. It was only a thousand to make that happen. Uh, serving eight tables should not be a problem. I think we're probably just about going to be good with the building side of things. However, there might be more to add. You never know. Uh, we have just a single bathroom. The bathroom has no sink. We might want to add in a sink. Okay, there we go. We added in a sink. Oh, there's a second room over here. Second bathroom. Had not seen that. Oops. Okay, each has a sink. Do we not need a, a prep sink in the, the kitchen? Oh, that's what open is. Uh, pause, 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 pause. Take a look at the staff. What do we have? What do we have, y'all? Current staff. Bruce Black. Okay, myself. What, what are each of us going to be good at? Bruce. Okay, he's good on the fryer. Grill and the oven. And cleaning. Not quite sure how I want to assign roles. Let's see, edit group. 20 mils, that's our server right there. Could do food prep. Fiona is definitely food prep. But how do I tell them what to do? I don't know. We'll find out. Could always hire somebody else. Do we have a menu? We do. Dang, those are expensive. Joe and Fries is 52 bucks. Man oh man. Food storage, do we have things? In storage, yes, we have food stored. Okay. I guess we could get things going. Assuming this just means we have nobody here right now. But here comes the staff. Okay, I think we need to assign people to places. Or we're just waiting for assignments. Ah, assigned employees. Excellent. Uh, we have the grill. All right. We're open, we've got people assigned, and it looks like we have customers on the way. Looks like we might even have four, just about right off the bat. Okay, that's one table coming in. Uh, Tony Mills just arrived. He's a little late to the party, so Fiona's got the table. She's taking the order. Okay, let's see, we have timers in place on how that's all going to work out. They all just got paid. Was that already an hour worked? Okay, order has been submitted. There's our counter where we're transferring food from the kitchen out and our orders back. Second table has been seated. They're waiting for their food. I like the icons, I like the timers. It's all very clear, it's all very obvious. Uh, Bruce, what are we standing around for though? Are we just waiting for more food to be ready? That's the problem here. Fridge, fridge. Double door fridge. Why are we just standing instead of trying to serve food? Oh, there's more storage shelves out here. There's three tables. Uh, this is worrying me why three of them are literally just standing there not serving. Okay, there's more phases of cooking. That's why. Phases of cooking and they're waiting. Uh, the fryer seems to be an issue, so let's go ahead and go into the build menu. And let's add another. Excellent. Okay. That should free up that little problem that we had. Patience on these guys did wear down a little bit, but the food is now getting ready. At a much quicker pace. So things are good. Four tables are seated right now, so we're already making progress on that part. 
Uh, we very nearly have that fifth table ready to go. I think he's looking at the menu. Is that what that is? They are all waiting on their food. Uh, patience, wearing a little thin, but we'll see. We'll see if we've uh, made up for it. Fiona already re on a break. And now coming back from her break. Ding! A food is ready! An order. Our first order! Is it edible? <laughs> is it edible? How have we done? That's our first table served. We need seven more on the day. And it's 1.30. Time's going by pretty quick. This next order could be a bit problematic. At this rate that we're going, I think we need to hire another. It's not about the finances, right? It's about what we can do. Uh, we want, we have applicants. Uh, we need a server, I think. So a serving of four, but charisma might help. Justin Hayes is a four, two. We got another order done. We got two orders done. That's good. Payout just got a lot better, too. Uh, we already made enough money. First objective complete. First order of the day. We got the next two orders out in time after starting a little slow, so that's good. Those are done. I think we seem capable of doing five tables at a time. Problem is getting enough customers in to have five seated at the same time. First restroom breaks. A little too much information, but apparently everybody goes to the restroom with their pants on. Hey, you did not wash your hands, buddy. That's gross. Okay, more tables filling in. But definitely not at the five tables thing, and that's going to be one of the hardest aspects of what we have to do the rest of the way. I think serving eight tables looks like it's not going to be a problem. Uh, selling five dishes at $70 or more. Do we have any? Mozzarella. Okay, uh, we need mozzarella. Doing well. We've got people standing around. I'd like to have cleaning, but do we need... Ah, there we go. Clean areas. Uh, I don't think we have anything set up for that. That's probably why we're not getting anything done. Uh, popularity has dropped. There we go. Now we're cleaning. Figured that out quickly and easily enough. What do we got here? Order queue. Let's see what's being ordered. Ah, okay. Serving for dishes, submitting order, customers waiting. Okay, so we do have information about what's going on. I like it. So it's very streamlined and here come another round of customers. Seem to keep it up just fine other than that whole we were out of food, but that was resolved at four o'clock. 1600 hours. Now whether we ordered enough, I don't know. Find that out soon enough. Somebody was a little unhappy, maybe with the menu, the prices or something. Uh, let's see, when was our next order coming? That's build mode. That's not what I wanted. Food storage. Okay, five o'clock. It's not that bad. And it looks like we'll be within our storage capacity, so we're okay. Okay, the finances were good. Five tables, not so good. Eight tables, not so great. It's only early evening, though. We'll get there. Uh, but the five dishes at $70, I think. I need to check my menu. We don't have any dishes at $70. Hello there, waving person. What's your... Oh, we've got to come talk to you. And it's got to be somebody with charisma. Just, uh, Fiona. Fiona, come say hi. Donna Smith. My mom taught me how to use a fryer long ago, so I really know what I'm doing. Oh, employee for hire. Okay. Uh, do we need to hire her? 
Sure, why not? I don't even care what her skills are. Doesn't hurt us to have an extra. Three star reviews. There's our eight tables. There's two tasks. We have one though. The five at the same time it has just not happened as of yet. I need to try to squeeze in a sixth table. I think we actually could fit another table in. Would that help us get five at the same time? It might. It might. But we go into the build menu and see what can we do. Furniture. We want a anything with bonuses. Gotta look at that bonuses. Let's at least take something that doesn't have negatives. A table with three chairs instead of four. Okay, our new employee is a bit of an upgrade here. Okay, looking for a nice, clean, tidy environment. Popularity rating is actually holding a lot better than it was. At the end of the day, you guys are going home early, huh? Or is everybody going to take a rest at the same time? I'm guessing they're going home early. That's the end of our first day. We close at 8 o'clock. Man, oh man, that is uh, not your top restaurant right there. Going home at 8 o'clock. So early. Okay, place is clean. Place looks nice. Volcano Burger was cheap. They are generous here. Nice, okay. Place could look better. That'll help with our rating. People could see me on the toilet. <laughs> Uh, da, da, da. Fiona was rude. Burgers were just okay. Place looks terrible. Okay, well, there's the easiest fix: is the place could look better. We spent eighteen hundred. Uh, our other expenses, though, were easily covered in the money we brought in, so it's not that hard to turn a profit here. Oh, I like this. Oh, this is nice. The stats that they provide you with performed actions. So Bruce did a lot of cleaning and a bit of cooking. Not idle too much. Tony Mills, a lot of cooking, bit of cleaning. Fiona, plenty of serving, plenty cooking. Justin Hayes, a server, spent plenty of time idle. Donna Smith never did anything. We only added her in at the end of the day to her role. She also joined us right at the end of the day. Or fairly late in the day anyway. And I was a cook most of the time. 50% of the orders were the Volcano Burger. Let's get into day number two. We're going to try again. This time, we want to make the place look a little bit nicer. Some decorations. All right, so we begin day number two looking to get five seats uh, five tables seated at the same time. That's going to be that first objective. And of course, we want to sell five dishes at $70 or more. We now have a couple options on the menu. Half the menu is going to do that for us. So we'll see what we can do about trying to make that happen. Popularity held at about 50%, so I think we should be okay. And of course, now that we've improved uh, scenery a little bit, maybe that'll help raise that. Get that at least back up over 50%. I think one thing that could actually help us out here is I want to move this storage shelf inside. Move this one inside. Why not? And then that will give us room for yet another table. And I think we can afford to go a little more expensive on this one. Just a little corner table. We're going to do a little corner table. Let's do it here. All right, I think our odds of finishing things today are getting much better. For one thing, we've already sold two dishes at $70 or more. We just need a few more. And I think our odds of getting two five-seated tables are, are significantly better today. But 
while our popularity is rising, it's already come up one percentage point, it's not coming up drastically, it's coming up slowly. So I wonder if we need to add more. Yeah, I don't see that working very well for us at the moment. I think you have to have walls in between for the stall door to be effective. Maybe we just need to eliminate one toilet and have two. Okay, we're leveling up characters. That's good. The staff only took them two days to learn on the job. Eee, somebody not happy. I think that's because they used that restroom, right? Same time as somebody else. People could see me on the toilet. Uh, one star review. Let's deal with that. Let's go into the build mode and let's get rid of the second toilet. I think we're better off having just two than uh, dealing with that shared time. Now I'm thinking one of the only reasons why we're not getting five seated at the same time is mostly down to uh, popularity. I'm thinking if we rise, if the popularity rises, more people will come in at the same time. We'll be busier. I mean that makes sense to me, right? And cleaning and can level up. Okay, so he's not automatically leveling up. Ah, choose one option from below. Uh, happy when tables are full. Lone Wolf will work twice as fast if they are the only one assigned to a table or a plate. Increases the number of customers that will come to the restaurant. Hello, popular kid. Thank you, thank you. Okay, somebody else just leveled up as well. No hate removes a hated action. Uh, happy when tables are full. Adds 10% to your speed. Okay. And Tony. Bounce back. 10% to your stamina. Extinguish fires faster. Works faster when the restaurant is full. Seem to have no problem. Uh, allowing for recovery. We have plenty of staff. And we're still making money anyway. I mean, we've already, in just two days, recovered a lot of what we've spent to build this place up. Almost too easy on that. 13 times we've sold that big time deal. I mean, look at that. We're already approaching a 1,000. But, again, same problem. Getting to the number of seated tables we need. Oh, not two tables. Somebody who wants something. I do not want to hire you. Okay, we seem to be doing good on the the food storage side of things. That's no longer an issue. We are getting an adequate number. We have adequate storage. So that's all working out. Uh, the cooking space seems to be enough too. We don't seem to have any shortage with time. So at this point, sitting and waiting to get five tables seated at the same time seems plausible. Also, plausible seems... The option of continually adding more decorations to make the place nicer, to improve the evaluations, because that seems to be the only thing that is uh, very much necessary at this point. Mega Sloppy was bad. So this is uh, good and bad. Food was bad, but they were served quickly. The people could see me at the toilet though. That was three of four bad evaluations. That's not going to be an issue anymore, so that's that's good. Fire! Fire! We have fire! Oh man. That's how bad our cooks are. They're running around with their arms waved in the air. Come on, Fiona. Come on, Fiona. You can do it. Fiona still struggling to put the fire out. Has she succeeded? She has. Uh, it needs cleaning. The room itself needs cleaning. Justin's at his breaking point. And going to rest. Okay. Somebody needs to get, get in there and clean. Whew. Okay, we already experienced our very first fire. Staff is good enough. Uh, we seem to be doing good in so many areas, but we just can't get five seated tables at the same time. 
It could definitely increase the number of tables we have, but I think it's got to be something along the lines of decoration uh, that's going to be the difference maker in, in getting us in a situation where we can. not Popularity is going up, though. It's back up to 49%. It's nearly back to 50 uh, As the kitchen staff levels up, they'll get better at cooking, maybe, you know, avoid setting fires in the future. Uh, so the mess has been all cleaned up, though the kitchen itself is a little below where it should be, but it looks like uh, Tony is on it. Starting to clean up for us. But another day and another not getting five people seated at the same time. So that's the first challenge. Otherwise, uh, we have progressed in a positive way here early on in this one. Gotten hangs of things pretty quick. Already had our first disaster because it's a recipe for disaster. And I'm a decathlon gamer. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Be safe out there. And bye for now.